is to the Organization of African, Caribbean, and Pacific states' concerns regarding the increasing number of unilateral discussions by the European Union targeted at the multilateral institution member nations. President Kenyatta regretted that the EU does not sufficiently engage the OASPS before taking some of its decisions contrary to the provisions of the Cotonou Agreement. President Kenyatta, who is the president in office of the summit of the 79th member institution since 2019, said such decisions by EU were unnecessarily made and contravened court a new argument. I share the concern of affected OACPS member states that the unilateral approach adopted by the EU is against the spirit of the post cotonou partnership agreement. On the blacklisting of all ACPS countries on grounds of deficiency in anti-money laundering and financing of terrorism, the president said his office had unsuccessfully raised the matter with the highest levels of the EU's hierarchy. The unilateral application of measures, including sanctions by the EU, indeed as imposed on Burundi, has created sensitivities and concerns within our group. President Kenyatta, who is on a two-day official visit of Belgium and the European Union, spoke on Tuesday in Brussels when he addressed a meeting of the OACPS Committee of Ambassadors. Early in the day, President Uhuru Kenyatta and the European Council President Charles Michelin unveiled a strategic dialogue framework through which they seek to step up their bilateral relations. In a joint statement released on Monday evening between Kenya and EU, agreed to cooperate more in domestic, regional and global interests such as democracy, governance and human rights.